Hello everyone. I'm Hussein. I commonly go around as Hussein Web online. Uh, you might have noticed me on Twitter or elsewhere. You can just search for Hussein Web. Uh, today I wanted to talk about Composer and uh, specifically, you know, some of the annoying things about Composer. So I think Composer is a very nice tool. It's 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 a game changing tool for PHP, but it does come with its own problems. And uh, they are problems that you get used to, uh, you know, with time. And I, and I thought I should do, you know, I faced this problem today, and I thought, you know, I should record a screencast of me walking through this problem, and hopefully it helps someone. So today I was just going through uh, Drupal uh, change logs, and uh, I saw that you know Drupal eight. Now supports PHP 6. Point, PHP unit 6.5 and PHP unit 7, and uh, I thought you know I should upgrade to PHP unit 7 on one of my projects, and uh, so let's jump right into it. Uh, this is a project at uh, work. It's it's actually open source. Uh, it's called Contrib Tracker. Uh, it, we use this to track our contributions to Drupal.org, and um, let's see what do we have right now. You know uh, we have PHP unit. Um, version 6.5, yes. And uh, so we want to move to uh, PHP Unit 7, which, like, uh, you know, Drupal 8.8 .8 supports. So let's see if we can just do that. You know, I would normally just do a uh, composer require PHP unit slash PHP unit to 7.0. So I want to force it to 7.0. And it's a dev dependency, so I'm just going to add a dev flag to that. Let's see what happens. Uh, Composer takes a while, uh, so let's just wait. Uh, okay, it says Composer JSON has been updated. Let's see what it what what do we see next. It's trying to update dependencies, and well, it failed. Uh, as you can imagine, I've tried this before, and <laughs> I know it failed. And I, I, I can imagine if you've seen this error before, uh, it, it's pretty common. And um, I, I think you know what most people do at first is you know pass in this flag, update with dependencies. Uh, th this is a good, uh, this is a reasonable practice. Uh, in most cases, it can work. So let's just blindly go ahead and do that and see if that works. Again, it's going to take a while. Uh, Composer, you know, it resolves all these dependencies and it does take a while. You know, it's like it's checking all the different versions of different packages and sees, you know, if it can make it work. Yeah. But you know, while it's doing this, let's let's look at these errors. Uh, you know, meanwhile, and see if we can figure out something from there. So it's basically it's listing all different versions it can install of PHP unit up to 7.5, and says that it cannot install any of them, and uh, it says that it this package uh, conflicts with PHP unit. Uh, this seems like a dependency, you know, 5.0. So uh, theoretically, uh, once we pass in this update with dependencies, it should be solved, and we do see it has solved. You know, we don't see the problem with the mock dependencies anymore because we have passed an update with dependencies. So it's going to update that as well. But it seems it it had it has got stuck with something else. So again, you know, it's like the same errors that we saw before. We can just skip those. Uh, let's see this, you know, so it says that, you know, installation request for PHP unit slash PHP unit 7.0 onwards, uh, it failed. Uh, because it has to remove PHP unit slash PHP timer 1.0.9 and install uh, PHP unit PHP timer 2.1.2. So why can't it do that? So let's 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 look at the messages further. And it said it tried to install uh, PHP Sebastian slash PHP CPD, which is locked at 3.01. But uh, so there is a conflict somewhere over there. I'm not going too deep into these messages over here. Because uh, essentially it says like so the conflict is somewhere around PHP unit slash PHP timer and uh, PHP CPD. So without you, you know these these messages can get really confusing. I'm not going to like read too much into it. I have few packages uh, you know 
you know like that could be the source of this conflict let's see what, you know uh, what we can do about them so composer why is a very useful command it tells you know why is this package being included and uh, so composer why it tells me that php unit 6.5 requires that and php cbt 3.01 that requires that okay uh, good enough so like i can see that both of them require this so the problem is this you know um, php cpd uh, it requires it has locked it um, right and uh, so when we update php unit to 7.0 uh, it would it would require a php timer 2.1.2 but it can't because php cpd also depends on that okay so what can we do about that you know one thing is we can just check if there is a updated package available for php cpd yeah. let's take a look so this is packages and i'm just going to like search for php cpd and see and yes the latest version of is 4.1 and it does require 2.0 so what can we do about that so, so why do we have sebastian slash php cpd as well let's see okay so yeah this is an internal tool internal local quality checker it's basically uh, grump php and that requires php cpd all right so uh, so what we need to do is go and update drupal quality checker if there is an update or in this case i'm the one who maintains this package and i know there there wasn't an update until earlier today uh, but now there is so i just i'm just going to like go back and check over here so what I did is I just put out a new version of this version 1.0 beta 5, which supports both 3.0 and 4.0. I've, I've done that so that the package continues to work with the slightly older Drupal installations as well. Okay, so I think we have got to the root of the problem. So what we need is we need to first of all update Drupal quality checker. Let's just uh, do that. Let's do that independently. Uh, so I'm just going to say accelerant slash tuple quality checker. And uh, uh, so I'm already, uh, let, let's see what version am I requiring. I'm, um, oh yeah, okay, show doesn't give me the what I require. Uh, so composer y will tell me that. So it tells me that I'm directly including this in my JSON. It requires 1.0 at beta, which means that if I run, uh okay uh, so if i just run update on this it should put me on the latest version beta 5 so let's do this one at a time so, uh, i can write in a single command that does all of it in one go but let's do this one at a time so that we understand what's going okay so we see that um, it has updated to beta 5 and uh, now we should not face any problems with php cvt so let's see what we can do now um, okay so now i'm just going to try to just run the same command again and see if this works uh, update with dependencies um, my guess is it won't work but it's worth it right yeah it's annoying it takes such a long time but yeah it's there is composer 2.0 coming out I, I wonder if that's going to fix any of these delays uh, it's really the algorithm thing over here it's, it's uh, it takes time to resolve all the versions you know uh, something a project as large as Drupal does so many things well it failed uh, so yeah uh, not, not really a surprise you know let's try update with all dependencies and you know what this does is like uh, uh, it just doesn't update the direct dependencies but it kind of goes in and updates everything that it can update. Um, so let's see if uh, if this makes a difference. Uh, otherwise, we might have to temporarily add packages and uh, remove them later. Like that's not the end of the world, but you know, I'd rather avoid it if update with all dependencies works. So. yeah it didn't really work you know so uh, it's not going to update php cpd or a major version until i tell it to i guess uh, you know so uh, again our problem is this sebastian slash php cpd 
now even though we can require 4.0 it's not doing it directly uh, so i'm just going to say that okay no uh, explicitly say that no it is okay go ahead and update to 4.0 let's see what happens so come to think about it uh, you know come to think of it i, I don't think this should work either because php cpd now 4.0 will require php timer 2.1 but uh, of course it can't install that because php unit is uh, uh, php unit requires that as of right now to 1.0 uh, yeah we see that exact error so um, in situations like this there is really no other way but uh, just update everything in one go uh, so let's do that so i'm going to say that this is the first thing php unit 7.0 and I also want to update Sebastian slash PHP CPD to uh, 4.0. We, we would remove this later, of course. And I'm just going to put in that update with all dependencies and update with dependencies for now. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I usually, you know, try to minimize the impact. You know, I start with update with dependencies. And if it doesn't work, I'll go with update with all dependencies and then understand what was the package that didn't let me update. So let's see what, what happens here. Oh, look, it's, it's working. Uh, so it has done a bunch of updates. You know, we have PHP unit uh, 7.5.20. Uh, PHP unit timer has, uh, uh, yeah, that's updated 2.1.2, Sebastian slash uh, PHP CPD as well. Now, yeah, uh, so as a last thing, I'm just going to remove PHP CPD because I don't really want it in, uh, in my composer JSON. I'll let my dependency manage that. So yes, I want to remove it from it right there. Okay. So this should this should result in no changes because we are not actually removing the package. We are just removing it from our composer JSON. Um, it's debatable. Uh, you know, it's sometimes a good idea to keep it explicitly in your composer JSON. That's true, but uh, it really depends. I'd rather leave it out for now. Uh, I just needed to put it in. For, you know, so that this update would work. Uh, so take, let's take a look at you know our composer JSON. Okay, so we have composer JSON and lock modified. Obviously, I'm going to just uh, see what is the change in composer JSON. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, it's a clean change. You know, it's the only thing that I'm changing is uh, so in my own project I'm explicitly require 7.0. I don't want 6.5 anymore. Uh, Drupal works with both, but uh, this is. Uh, this is my website, you know, and I want to force it to work with 7.0. Uh, that's the only change uh, that's good enough for me. Composer log, of course, there is there are a whole bunch of changes over there. Uh, we'll not uh, like we'll not go into this in detail, uh, but it looks good, you know, like different packages. You know, the ones we saw earlier, uh, it's the same thing. If you feel like you know you need to really review each thing. Composer log diff is a nice uh, tool that lets you give, that gives you a whole thing. You know, I I, I usually uh, you know, use this in my commit messages when I'm updating a lot of packages. So yeah, it looks good. Um, like there are different various minor updates, uh, and uh, then we have like you know some major updates like PHP CPD, which we recognize, PHP unit as well, PHP open stream time, all of these dependencies. And yes, so I'm going to add my composer files, commit it. And that's that's really it. Now I'm using PHP unit 7.0. So um, let's let's see if it is if it tells me what. Okay, the tests won't really run without an environment, but yeah, PHP unit 7.5.20. All right. So thank you for watching it uh, this far. I hope this was informative.